Welcome to this short video describing the steps to install Bria for Salesforce. The first step is installing the Salesforce Manage package from Salesforce's App Exchange. Once you've found this Counterpath Bria for Salesforce page, you can begin the installation. Choose whether to install in production or into a sandbox. Agree to the terms. Log in. Install for all users. Accept the third party access and wait for the installation to complete. Step two is configuring Bria for Salesforce. Let's begin by finding the Bria for Salesforce admin tab. Once we're on the Bria admin tab, we can start to enter information about our company. First, we need to create a domain associated with our Bria login settings. This is a one-time setting. Next, we should provide some information about our PBX or our voice over IP settings. Brief for Salesforce supports most common PBXs and voice over IP services. For a complete listing of known supported PBXs and services, please consult the support page within the BRIA admin portal. Next, we will configure our first user of BRIA for Salesforce. You will need to know the user's specific SIP credentials or PBX settings and enter these for each user. Now that we've added our first user, we can continue to add additional users. Some other areas of the BRIA admin tab include call outcome lists. These lists are used by salespeople and agents to uh, select the outcome of a call. In addition, the BRIA admin tab is a location for all of your support materials and to log a case. The third and final step is setting up the BRIA desktop client and making our first call. If we go to the leads or contacts tab, and look in the sidebar, we'll now see the BRIA dialer integrated into the Salesforce user experience. At the top of the BRIA for Salesforce sidebar, you'll see a little notice. This notice informs us that the BRIA desktop client has not yet been installed or is not turned on. Let's begin the installation of the BRIA desktop client by clicking on the download URL. Once the package has been downloaded, install the package. Once the installation is complete, start the application. When a Salesforce user is configured to use Brio for Salesforce, they will receive an activation email. That email contains the user ID and password of their Brio for Salesforce login. We will use these to log into the Brio for Salesforce client for the first time. You'll notice that there are three checkboxes in the Brio for Salesforce login. Click all three of these boxes, and the client will remember your login settings for future use. Once the client is logged in, the PBX or Voice over IP settings will be loaded into the client. The Bria for Salesforce client is now ready to make and receive calls, either in or out of Salesforce. Thank you for reviewing Bria for Salesforce's installation process.